Thank you. Sure. Critics are lashing out at the creators of a GPS cell phone application that is specifically designed to help illegal aliens sneak across the border into the U.S. And they use tax dollars to help create the program. It's called the Transborder Immigrant Tool, developed by some faculty members at the University of California, San Diego, and the University of Michigan. This app helps illegals find water and key landmarks. It can also alert them to Border Patrol checkpoints. In addition, they offer poetry and pretty pictures to enhance the journey. Stephen Camarada is with us, Director of Research at the Center for Immigration Studies. Francisco Hernandez is here too. He's an immigration attorney. Francisco, first to you. These creators, uh, they describe themselves as artivists. They say it's a combination of activists and artists, and they call this border disturbance art, and they're trying to make a statement here. They're very clear about that. Is this a proper use of taxpayer dollars? Well, I think what they're trying to do is provide at least some way for these folks that are trying to uh, come across on their own not to die out in the desert during a 10-day 10 uh, 10 walk. We're not really talking about smugglers. Smugglers already have GPS systems and, and uh, airplanes and cars, so we're not talking about that. And we're not talking about using tax dollars to give this application or even give the illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants cell phones. So, uh, you know, we don't seem to have a problem with using federal dollars to study the uh, effects of marijuana smoking or cocaine use. In fact, the U.S. government subsidizes growing marijuana for those studies. Nobody seems to be complaining about that, and that's a much worse situation. But, Francisco, I should point out that the creators of this program say they envision using some of their money, whether it's part tax dollars or part created on their own or what was given to them by the state university, to give it to churches and local groups in Mexico who would then give them to people who want to cross the border. Stephen, I have to ask you, too, is that legal? Yeah, I mean, there is a fine line here. Whether they'd ever, ever be prosecuted is one thing. But, yeah, if you go to the border and help somebody over the fence or you wait with your car and then take them off uh, into the United States, that's clearly illegal. And this may be illegal. Again, they might not be prosecuted, but it's certainly facilitating the violation of U.S. laws in, a, in an important way. One of the professors uh, had this to say. He said it's not illegal to tell somebody where to find water. Is it moral or ethical to turn the other way as people are dying, um, border officials have also said what we don't want this to do is encourage more people to try to do this because it is so dangerous. And their latest stats show that 400 people or so were, died last year doing this. Um, Francisco, isn't that a concern? Well, it is a concern, and you know, really, uh, all this is caused by the failure of Congress to act, both sides of the, of the parties, Republican and Democrat, to figure out a system where some folks can apply to come here legally. Uh, these folks do it out of desperation to support their families and to feed their families, so it is a, a way of trying to save their lives. And you know, quite frankly, there's nothing illegal with just po uh, posting it on the uh, iPhone application uh, programs and giving it away for free. We're not talking about helping people come across. We're talking about people that are coming across anyway to keep her from dying, and that's only humane. There's nothing wrong with that. Stephen, you agree with that? No, of course not. Look, the way this application makes sense is for people who don't see the United States and its borders and its laws as legitimate. If you don't see them as legitimate, then it makes sense to do everything you can to undermine it, and it even adds injury to insult to, uh, you know, to use uh, taxpayer dollars. Look, I mean, this thing might be make people more dangerous. What if a person relies on this and they get there and the water's not there and they didn't carry their own? It seems that it's not even on its own terms a very good idea. And again, it just sends another message that America is not serious about its laws because we just let this kind of thing go on with taxpayer dollars. We just want to let our viewers know we did ask the creators to come on with us and this is what they had to say. We've decided we would prefer not to be interviewed by Fox News. Our aesthetic diverges so much from your networks that we question the possibility of genuine dialogue in an exchange with you. Well, I couldn't agree, disagree with that more. Uh, thanks to Francisco and Stephen for Thank that. You. We'll follow it. John. Thank you.